So I've set everything up for um, the acid wash. Um, I've moved everything away from. Oh, I'm gonna move that ladder away. Move everything away from the um, the boat, so there's no overspray of acid. Um, I wanted to put something there, but I'll do the sides first. And I've cleaned all the um, cables away, all the from the boat as well too, so there's no spray gets onto the. Should really cover that. Anyway, so that's everything underneath the boat. And it's, I'm doing it because it was raining last night, so it, the ground's nice and wet, so when if any acid gets onto the grass, it's um, diluted a bit anyway. But um, I'm not going to dilute the acid, I'm going to hit it straight and then hit it with the water blaster. I'm going to do the sides first and then I'll get up to the top later on. Just sort of, so we've got a bit of an idea of things. So now I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and then we'll get started. This mask isn't good enough. I can get the fumes to get a new mask. I think the um the acid ate away the, the plastic boot in there. That stuff's lethal. Holy moly. Ah, looks a little bit better. I'll give it another shot. A little bit later. Just gonna clean this out and make sure this isn't damaged too much. My wife's laughing at me, it's okay. So, I, I did this last night at uh, about an hour and a half. I was did the whole boat side with acid. Uh, muratic, murat, murat, can't pronounce it, muratic acid. Anyway, so I've been doing what I had to do. It's quarter past 12 now. And that's the hull colour that used to be underneath, and I just put the, the blaster on it and started blowing off. So, fingers crossed, if I can just blow it all back like that, it'll save me an incredible amount of time and effort. So, I'll get some safety glasses on and I'll give it a go.
So today I went um, a little bit overboard, I had to buy something to protect, well not overboard I suppose. Um, when you need to protect yourself you need to do it properly. Um, it's a 3M mask, um, I bought it at the Boat Works um, Chandlery today. Uh, the guys looked after me as always. Uh, but that's because I'm going to do some um, hydrochloric acid on the boat's uh, transom and uh, I'll just do it with some spray. Uh, at this stage, where we are, is I've blown a fair bit of the uh, old paint off, but um, I'm getting a paint specialist coming out next week, Monday or Tuesday, and we can have a look at what uh, what options there are and what we can do. You can sort of see how many dents and bumps there are along the hull there. So I don't know if it's worth farrowing or not, but uh, you can see up here, there was some farrow here. Here, it's been bogged up. I've got to get up there. I, I really need uh, some uh, scaffolding, but I was thinking if I just use my ladder and just move along, this side hasn't been touched at all. You can see that it's, uh, that's how it was when it came out of the water. But this side, it doesn't seem to be as bumpy as the other side. Maybe it was laying down on that side. So... Oh, also, I've got uh, a guy called Cookie, he's coming, he's a uh, rigger, he's coming on, uh, I think, Monday, to uh, have a look at all the masts and sails and see what I can suggest. Apparently, this used to be a cutter, it was designed as a cutter. So, two masts instead of one. Uh, it's a bit of a, bit of a mess at the moment. And also by having that engine control there, or the, whatever that is, that's the I think the engine control there. That's a bit odd as well too. There's got to be a reconfiguration of this whole area up the back here. This just doesn't sit right, and I can't get hold of um, opening portholes or um, what are they called, the window lights or whatever they call them for that size, it's only 100 by um, 400 mil, um, so I don't know, but we'll have to cut out some uh, holes here for the windows that they want to put in the back, we used to call them scuttles back in my day on the ship, but anyway, so what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to transfer some of that muriatic acid, that big container, to a smaller container. There's an Aussie wasp for you. Oop, there he goes. Big sucker. Um, yeah, I want to get in underneath here and get rid of all this junk. I want to tidy this up. It sort of irritates me every time I go looking at it. I don't wonder if those LEDs are any good still. So I'm going to put some plastic down here because I'm, I'm wrecking all the... This uh, area was all treated with a sealant, but I think it's I pretty well killed it over here. So, yeah, you know what? Let's see where we go from there. I don't know if you can hear me, but the wind's stopped now. The wind's not blowing, so it's better than if the wind's blowing because it'll blow back on you. That's why I moved the car and stuff. Well, my wife would be real happy if the whole car paint started peeling off the car, I'm sure. I 
I'll show you what this stuff is doing. You see all that yellow? I think that's just all the calcium or whatever from the. I don't know if it's from the. There's still more shells through there that needs another hit. I'm gonna hit that with a water blaster now and see what happens. But it might have to give it one more spray up through there. There's more barnacles still going on there, but I'll keep the camera away from it. It always amazes me how people watch this stuff because I sit there and I watch other people doing this stuff and I think oh, that's pretty interesting and I enjoy it and I enjoy their, their journey. So I hope you enjoy my journey. Banging on the gas cylinder. It wasn't time for dinner. On the gong. My wife's Japanese, not Chinese. Chinese gong, I don't know if the Chinese do the gong. Somebody does the gong. Okay. Whoa. Better put some safety glasses on. So you can sort of see there's still stuff in there through here, through there. But the top came up um, a little bit through here. I'll show you the top. The top's pretty good. From this angle you can't even see anything, it's all pretty well done, but the back, this back side here is still rough. And I want to throw some down inside that too, because I imagine the barnacles down inside that. I don't know if it's worth saving or not, but anyway. Um, I found an old bilge today, cleaned it out and uh, kill rusted it, and uh, that'll save me $140 for a little hand pump bilge. Um, I don't know if we've discussed this, this is what I found underneath the, the paintwork. Marquee of Anglesey F75 Fremantle and then it's a Fremantle Sailing Club So that was a bit of a fine and then I dug up the history on that So that's another story another time So I think what time is it quarter past six in the evening Birds everywhere. Yeah, there's some nice birds oh, Bin chickens whoop there's some more rainbow lorikeets. Oh, more bin chickens. We call those birds um, bin chickens because they're always going in rubbish bins and knocking off all the scraps. One of those Australian colloquialisms. Yeah, I think I'll move that forward. There's no rigging inside anyway, no helm. So, I think that's it for a day. Um, yeah. Well, see what the next adventure is.